Hey guys, Awesome Specs 21 here, your destination for speculation, and today I'm going to be ranking my favorite Ninjago seasons 1 through 8. I have not seen season 9 yet because I am waiting for the US release to come out in my country, and I'm going to stick to that, so can you please stop telling me to watch the episodes online? Thanks. Anyway, I thought it would be nice for you guys to see where I rank them now, and then when see, and then when I actually do see season nine, I'll make a bunch of reviews for the episodes, and then I will go, and then I will go make another video like this, ranking all of the seasons and putting season nine into that video. So I thought that would be pretty fun. Okay, so. With that being said, let's get right into it. These are my rankings of seasons 1 through 8 of LEGO Ninjago. Now look, I've stated before that I do not hate Day of the Departed. So why is it number 10 on my list? Because I just didn't find it interesting. It's, it's not even really a season, so it's just 45 minutes of Cole getting the spotlight. That's, and then bringing back old villains, and why I did enjoy it, I just felt like it was all kind of crammed in there, which it was supposed to be a full season, but I forget what the reasoning it is, maybe the Lego Ninjago movie or something, but um, it just felt all crammed in there and it felt like the plot points weren't moving very well, weren't moving very well with, the, with each other and there was and I, while I don't hate it, it's at the bottom of my list for those reasons. So coming in at number 9 on my list is Season 2, and I do have a few reasons for this. Um, season 2 just didn't really bring that fire. I mean, I liked it when I first watched it, and then I watched all the other ones, and it kind of got pushed back to right here. Most people would have Season 1 near the bottom. Mine is... My ranking's a little bit different than most people's, but the reason that I put season two right here is that it kind of just felt like season one, but just put into it again. But this is where Ninjago was supposed to end, and if it would have ended here, I would have been very disappointed in the show. I'm glad it, I'm glad it made it past its third season, and we're still getting it today, and it's about to reach 100 episodes in season ten. And I'm really excited to see where it goes, but season 2 just did not do it for me, so... That's why season 2 is this close to the bottom. Now, look, don't freak out. Rebooted is not down here because it only had 8 episodes, because as someone who wants to go into film, I know how hard it is. I can imagine how hard it is to just animate everything and put it all in the same thing, as well as trying to get the rights to everything, and it's just... It was a hassle for the team to get this season out when they did because they weren't- This season isn't even supposed to exist. Ninjago was supposed to stop at number two and then due to high demand they had to continue it and I'm very very glad that they did. But I did not- Like while I found the season fun to watch and it was fun to see all the techno stuff, um, I didn't like the choices of weapons. I I hate the Cole and Nia ship. I mean, did that need to happen? And there was a lot of things that I didn't like about the season, but there was also something that keeps the season from getting the bottom spot, and that is the finale. Such a beautiful, beautiful finale. I cried, guys. I cried. Anyway. So that is why Rebooted takes this spot on this list. So right here we have the seasons that started it all. The pilot seasons. Featuring just two episodes making up like not even an hour of watch time, like 45 minutes. And, and these were amazing to watch. Like I really like how they introduced Jay and Mia at the end of at the end of these 
so that we actually get to see their relationship progress and that's one of the reasons why I really ship it, like hardcore ship it. Anyway, enough about my shipping. These seasons were fun to watch and they set up and they set up something that wasn't even supposed to happen, but it did. And it's quite amazing to see all of these like band together and just to watch ninjas in colorful suits. Wonder where my love for that came from. Anyway, this was just an awesome season to watch and um, it didn't really, it didn't, while it didn't make it to the top of the list, I really do enjoy watching the pilots and I enjoy seeing them every time I do, so. There you go. Okay, well, Sons of Garmadon is the newest season, at least in my country. Still waiting on that Cartoon Network. Anyway, while it is the newest season, this blew me away. It totally blew my expectations to the next level, and it's quite amazing, actually. I, a lot of people don't like it because of the new designs, and some people have even given up Ninjago because of Lloyd's new voice and the designs. But I think the designs really help make the season what it is. I don't think that we could have this season with the old designs. I really don't. I love the whole Boyd and Hiromi aspect. That was just something that I was not expecting at all. Oh, I guess I was because it was spoiled for me before I watched it. Anyway, this is an amazing season and I really like it, it just couldn't take my top spot, but I have really high hopes for Hunted when I see it, because I've heard it's great, and I can't wait to see it. I told you season one was in a weird spot, well this is where I decided to put it. I decided to put it here because season one, I didn't, I can just watch that forever, like, I've seen season one at least 10 times, and it was enjoyable every single time that I saw it. It takes a spot over Sons of Garmadon because without it, we wouldn't have anything. Because it's season one. A lot of people don't like season one, and I understand why, because it's not as interesting as the other seasons. But in my opinion, it's one of the most interesting seasons ever. I love how it's all spaced out, they did a great job in introducing all of the characters and, and unlocking each one's true potential, and I just, I love what they did with Nia and the whole Samurai X thing. I just really love this season, and I always will. So, thank you, season one. You're awesome. Skybound is such an amazing season. It had such a great villain. Like, Nauticon, he's one of my favorite villains ever, because he's just so conniving and underhanded that you never expect if he's actually going to do what he says he's going to do, or if he just puts a weird twist on it, you know, like evil genies do. I guess that's what he is, is an evil genie. I prefer the term... Gene. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so... This season was just amazing. It had so many twists and turns, and some people don't like it because of the way that it ended, and some people are not even sure if it's canon, but I can tell you, I think it's canon, guys. I really do. And I just like how, like, he, like, singled everybody out, and that's just an amazing dynamic for the villain because I've never seen anybody do that before. And. Skybound is such an amazing season, and that's really all I have to say about it, so go watch Skybound if you haven't seen it. Sorry about those spoilers, yeah. <laughs> so Possession is a season just filled with so many twists and turns that you never expect what's going to happen next, and that is something that I love about the season. Um, the fact that Marl took over Lloyd, that was just amazing. Even though it is technically a Lloyd season for some reason, I don't know why. It's a Nia season, okay? We can all agree on that. 
I really do like the aspect of Nia becoming a ninja. Maybe that's just because I'm a girl, I don't know. But I really do like this season a lot. I like the way it ended, I like the way it started. This was a season that I enjoyed from start to finish. And I don't know why water affects ghosts how it does. Like that, that was a little weird. But this season featured the best line in Ninjago history, and that's this one. Goldar likes Buffy Pot stickers. So yeah, Goldar saying that he likes Puffy Pot stickers is my favorite line in Ninjago history. Yeah. Possession's a good season, go watch it. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna get some pushback for saying this, but Hands of Time is better than any season that I have listed so far. Just because it kept me intrigued, and it answered a long time question that we've asked since the pilots, where, where are Kai and Nia's parents? Well, this season answers that question, and it really... And the fact that it focused on two ninja at the same time, it was really interesting to see that work, see how that works, and I really do like the villains. It was like, it was like brother and brother versus brother and sister. I really like the, the relationship that Kai and Nia have. I mean like sibling relationship. And I really do like the season a lot. And the animation need, wasn't on point and that's why it didn't take my number one spot but you know I still like it I still really enjoy watching the season and I probably will forever and that's why it's at the number two spot on this list Now when I was making this list, it was a full-on no-brainer which was going to be number one, and that has to be the Tournament of Elements. This Hunger Games type style really pulls you in more than the actual Hunger Games. Which is saying a lot because I don't like the Hunger Games. Anyway, I really do like the idea of the... of the whole tournament aspect, and Chen was just an amazing villain, so he's awesome. And then I love the finale of this one. The finale is just something that you're gonna remember for as long as time, because, um, spoiler alert, we did lose Lord Garmadon at the end of the season. Of course, we all know what happened to that. Anyway, this season was just amazing, and I really recommend it to anyone and I really do love the whole Kai and Skylar aspect I dislike the character of Skylar a lot and she's actually one of my favorite characters so that's pretty cool and I really do like the um I like a lot about this season the Jade Blades weren't doing it for me as a weapon but you know I don't really think they need weapons if they have elemental powers, which that's one of the things that I really like about the season. They keep their elemental powers, which that, that happens in a lot of seasons, but sometimes they find a way to take it away, and I prefer them actually having their elemental powers because it's just cool to watch fire shoot out of someone's hands. Yeah, it's cool. And I enjoyed seeing all of the other Elemental Masters and how we got to meet them and their parent and like learning about their legacies and everything. And that was just an amazing thing to see happen, especially in this. And it kind of introduced a whole new element to Ninjago after, after rebooted. And, you know, it's just an amazing season, and I don't think season 9 is going to top it, but we'll just wait and see what happens. But until season 9 comes out, this is definitely my favorite season. 
Alright, well that took forever to record, but I finally recorded some audio for you guys, because it's been really hard to record audio because it, it's just been loud at my house, so I've been doing tributes and stuff like that where you can't hear the background noise. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you're looking forward to see where season 9 ranks. The only reason I haven't watched it yet is because... I want to see it in full quality, so I'm waiting for it to come to the Cartoon Network app, and then when it comes out on TV, I will make lots of reviews for it, and then I will do another video like this with Season 9 in it so you can see where it ranks and how much I liked it. Okay, well, that took forever to record, so... It's almost midnight, so I think I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night, morning, day to you all. Awesome Specs 21, signing off. Bye!